This brief tutorial will show you just how quick and easy it is as a vendor to log in and update your profile information. First, at the incompliance.com website, simply click on Login, located in the upper right corner of the page. Enter your username and password, which were issued to you by Caruth Compliance Consulting, or CCC. Upon logging in, you're taken to a summary profile and to-do list. On the right side of the page, you can review all of the information CCC currently has in its vendor profile for you. General company information, address, phone, fax, and general website links. Marketing methods lets participants know how you reach them. 403B product details, including direct website links to various forms your company requires to open an account, make exchanges, transfers, rollovers, submit for hardships, and so on. These links are provided directly to participants. The last few links are for information pages at your company's website that outline your product's profiles, prospectuses, performance, and fees. You can review general status comments and notes on file for your company here. And finally, any current employer-specific information is shown here. This employer relationship data includes such items as a group number your company has assigned to a given employer, what types of payroll slots or relationships exist with this employer, and more. On the left side of the page, you can see a list of critical to-do items. Those items appear in the list at the bottom of the column. For this sample vendor, we can see two items remaining for us. One, we haven't yet approved our company profile, which leaves a yellow alert banner atop our public profile page, alerting participants that data hasn't yet been verified by you. It looks like this. Second, we also haven't yet entered our fax number, which you can see is missing back in the right column beneath the fax number heading. Here's how easy it is to update or add information to your profile. Simply click the Update Your Information button. Here, we can actually change or add new information. Since all of our information looked correct to us, we'll approve our public profile by clicking Yes here. This removes the yellow Not Approved banner atop the vendor's public profile webpage. We'll also add our missing fax number. Below, we can adjust any 403B product information if necessary. If your company doesn't handle 403B products at all, then click No here. If 403B products are offered, you should designate whether your company offers Roth and let us know if loans are never available on 403B accounts. Any minimum monthly or annual contributions are entered next, followed by the types of 403B products your company offers. If your company has signed CCC's Umbrella Information Sharing Agreement, your company becomes eligible to receive exchanges within, plan-to-plan -plan transfers into, and rollover contributions into vendor accounts established for any participant in any current and future CCC full-service client employer's 403B plan. Having signed also reduces the administrative costs to vendors by covering a large group of employers under a single agreement. If you've already signed, be very sure to select Yes here and enter the date the agreement was signed if known. Next, it's very important that vendors make it easy for participants to open an account with your company. Most participants have options when choosing a vendor and, if indecisive, will often select a vendor who provides a direct web link to their account application forms over a vendor who doesn't. That is, many participants who are forced to seek out a vendor's applications and forms on their own simply select a different vendor whose forms are immediately available to them here on this website. Entering direct web links to your company's forms is very easy. Simply use another web browser to navigate to the page with the form and then cut and paste the URL web address here. You can see here where you paste or type in the URL for an account application form or packet. Below that, you can see other important forms for reallocating contributions, shifts, exchanges, transfers, rollovers, distributions, loans, and more. 
The last few links are also important and provide direct page links to where your company outlines its profiles, prospectuses, performance, and fees. The final link is for any online calculators or other useful resources and tools your company makes available online. When finished editing, be sure to click Save Information. The system reports in red text, Saved. If your information was saved successfully, if any errors occurred, the error message would be displayed here instead. We're almost done. One of the other important things for a vendor to do is to provide local contacts specific to each employer account. Additional options, such as the tool to add local contacts, can be found in the nav bar menu beneath For Vendors. First, we need to add some contacts to our company's profile. These contacts include local contacts for all employers, plus any administrative contacts such as your company's information sharing agreement contact, your company's data management contact, and so on. To do that, we'll click Manage Contacts here in the navbar. If you have not yet added any contacts and CCC hasn't added any for you, then the only thing you may see here is the Add New Record button. For this example vendor, we can see several contacts already displayed. We can edit a contact's information here or click Add New Record up top to add a new person. To edit a contact, all you need to do is add or change information for one and only one contact at a time. Then hit the Save Changes button for that same contact you just edited. To edit another, wait for the screen to refresh on its own before continuing with additional edits. Here's how we add a new contact by pressing Add New Record. For each contact, there are several meta-type checkboxes where you can flag a person as the vendor information sharing agreement contact, or home office contact, or data contact. Other types of contacts, such as local contacts, don't require that any checkbox be checked here. We'll show you how to pair local contacts with a given employer in the next step. For now, enter the contact's first and last name, their job title, and most importantly, their phone, fax, and or email address. For an ISA or home office contact, either an email or a fax number will often suffice when in addition to a telephone number. For a local contact, we strongly recommend all three contact methods in order for participants to more easily reach their designated contact. Participants are not giving contact information for administrative or information sharing agreement contacts. Click Insert to insert the new contact into the database. To refresh this page, simply click Manage Contacts again from the left-hand navbar menu. For the final step, we'll show you how to edit or add information specific to a given employer. From the navbar menu beneath For Vendors, click Edit Employer Relationships. We can see here a list of employers we have a vendor relationship with. Click Edit Relationship next to the employer you wish to view or edit. Much of this employer-specific information is read-only, but displayed for your convenience so you can see what type of payroll slot or other relationship may exist with this employer. Here's where you would enter the group number you've assigned to this employer. Above is where you select Local Contacts. To make one or more contacts active for this employer, click the drop-down box and then place a check mark next to each name you want to serve as a local contact. For this example, we'll select another. And then another. By opening the drop-down box, you can see that all three of those contacts are now checked. If you would like to specify the person this employer as a company should also contact, you may specify that person under Vendor Contact. If your company holds an information sharing agreement directly with this employer instead of with CCC, you can specify that person here under ISA Vendor Contact. The same holds true for any special 403B remittance contact. Finally, when finished, be sure to click Save Changes. Do the same for any other employers, and you're done. That's it. Good times. For more tutorial videos, please visit the tutorials link beneath 4 Vendors in the navbar links.